Hi, my name is Ian Oswald and I'm going to give you a very quick introduction to debugging with IPython. We're going to start by looking at this simple script which I've written. I'll open up uh, the simple script inside my editor, so I'll hit tab here and it'll autocomplete. And I've configured my IPython to use TextPad. Here we can see the program. It's a, a simple loop iterating over five numbers. And here, this is a deliberate error. This ought to be printing n rather than x, y, z. So if we close this, uh, then there'll be an error inside IPython. Here we go. We've had a name error. This is because x, y, z doesn't exist. Uh, and so we get uh, the standard name error exception. Um, now, when we're developing Python code, uh, this is quite uh, normal. Um, we'll end up dropped back at the command line and we won't know the local state of the virtual machine uh, and this can be quite annoying. What we'd like uh, is to be able to investigate the state of the machine at the point that the error occurred. Uh, and we can do this in IPython using the pdb magic command. So if I just type in pdb and hit return then automatic Python debugger calling has been turned on. Now we'll go back to the previous code. So I type in edit, hit the up arrow to use the history and then Alt F4 just to quit out and so now it'll run the code and then it'll drop into the interactive Python debugger uh, and here we can see that there's been a name error on XYZ and we can look at the local code. We can use question mark to bring up some help uh, and the obviously useful commands here Q for quit, this will drop us back to the IPython prompt um, there's also P here for printing a variable and what is to test the type of an object and where to show us where we are. So first of all let's just print the value of n and it's uh, 0. Uh, so we haven't gone around the first loop yet because the xyz uh, variable wasn't recognized. We can ask it what is n and it's an integer and we can ask it where are we and uh, it'll show us the local piece of code. Uh, and so now let's pretend that we've uh, looked at the local variables and we've figured out what the problem is uh, and we haven't had to resort to littering our code with lots of print statements. So now we can quit back out to IPython. We'll edit the code to fix the problem. So if we just go back in here, delete x, y, z and replace it with n and then I'll use Alt F4 to quit. It'll run the code and then successfully execute the script. Now there's a, a useful idiom that uh, I'll show you quickly if we edit that piece of code again as well. Sometimes it's handy when debugging to, uh, to drop into a piece of code which hasn't already caused an error just so that we can investigate the local state. And we can do that easily by invoking a zero division error. So if we just type in 1 divided by 0 and then Alt F4 to close this will raise a zero division error exception uh, at line three. Uh, and so now we're inside the code and uh, the code is perfectly valid. Um, it's not uh, an error like the, the one we had before. Um, but now we can uh, ask it to print n uh, and pretty print n as well. Um, so with pretty printing, if n was a more complex object, that would have printed out uh, a larger output. Um, and we can do all of the usual debugging, um, so we can uh, invoke the debugger at any point that we need it. Uh, I'll just quit out of there, and there we go. That was a simple introduction to debugging and the Python debugger inside IPython.